Hoffa Dan, thanks for tuning in. You're watching PNC. I'm Clint Rogel with your Morning News First. Police are investigating a stabbing that was reported over the weekend behind the Harmon soccer field on early Saturday morning. Officers from the Dededo Precinct were dispatched to a reported stabbing incident off a road off the South Ukudu Pipeline. GPD spokesperson Captain Kim Santos says a man was found at a wood and tin shack drenched in blood from a three-inch stab wound to the throat. Medics treated the wound and transported him to the Guam Regional Medical City. The victim was last known to be in stable condition. Police also reported finding empty beer cans in the area. So far, the victim remains an unidentified Micronesian male. No arrests were made. The case remains open. Calling him an unhappy professor, apparently bent on settling scores, the University of Guam wants Associate Professor Ron McNinch's refiled federal complaint against them dismissed. UOG's attorney Todd Thompson filed a motion to dismiss, and in that motion, he argues that McNinch is simply unhappy because he was not promoted to full professor in 2012. Indeed, McNinch was not promoted at that time, but the professor contends that the Passover for promotion stems from harassment by the university's union president, Donald Platt. UOG's scathing motion, meanwhile, says, quote, the university should not be subjected to perpetual litigation, adding that federal courts are not required to coddle plaintiffs or to endure, quote, repeated scattershot narratives supported by little more than incendiary rhetoric and cut-and-paste attachments. Enough is enough, end quote. Residents gathered at the Veterans Cemetery in Petey for a special wreath-laying ceremony that was held in observance of Memorial Day yesterday. Commander of the Joint Region Marianas, Rear Admiral Shoshana Chatfield said, quote, there is no community that consistently demonstrates the true meaning of patriotism than the people of Guam. More than 9,000 veterans can be found on Guam, and it's no wonder it has been said time and time again that Guam boasts the highest per capita enlistment rate in the entire United States. And quote. The Rear Admiral went on to say that the people of Guam have offered their support to the nation not only through the service of their sons and daughters, but also through what she called, quote, the unparalleled hospitality shown to our armed forces, end quote. That's your morning news first. I'm Clint Mergell. Thanks for watching and stay malik.